And we're joined now by NBC News medical contributor, Dr. Kavita Patel. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let's get to it. Early on, we had Thanks a for having Good to have you. We had the swab test. It sometimes gave uh, false positives or negatives. So now we have these newer tests. And with these, can people say you're in the clear, you're safe to work with others? It's hard to say, Natalie. It's certainly better than the information we have now, which is very little. But if you do get one of these tests, and the more tests that we actually put out there, Natalie, the better the performance of the test, believe it or not. So the more people that we get little pinpricks of blood and try to identify whether or not they have immunity, then we will actually know as a country, does this test perform well? What we do know is that this serologic test or blood-based test can tell you if you've developed antibodies in the past or if you have current antibodies that show that you're fighting the infection currently as well. So it does give us more information, but it's certainly going to, it's not going to be the magic ticket mm -hmm. to returning to work safely that I think people are hoping it will be but it's better than the information we have to date. Yeah, definitely providing a little hope for healthcare workers first and foremost. Okay, well, countries overseas that have seen their cases, their numbers wane, like China, South Korea, are there lessons we can learn from their approach to when it comes to reopening safely? Yes, absolutely. I think I'm going to simplify it by saying testing, tracing, isolation. We have already talked about the different kinds of testing. We need to do a lot more of that. Uh, we also know that other countries that have done that have also used what's called contact tracing. So when, when the cases pop up, we can actually identify who those people have been in contact with and isolate them from the rest of the community to prevent some of the hot spots that we're seeing in New York. All right, Dr. Patel, we thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. And we want folks to know you can get much more on the pandemic tonight on Nightly News with Lester Holt at 630. Stefan.